क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सिक्सटी सिक्स एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस टू डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन तो इफ यू रीअरेंज वी कैन राइट डी एक्स बाई डी वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस टू और डी एक्स बाई डी वाई माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री वाई प्लस टू तो नाउ दिस इज इन ए स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म बींग डी एक्स बाई डी वाई प्लस पी वाई इक्वल टू क्यू वेर पी एंड क्यू शुड बी एदर कॉन्स्टेंट्स और फंक्शंस ऑफ वाई एलॉन हियर पी इज माइनस वन एंड क्यू इज थ्री वाई प्लस टू तो एदर कॉन्स्टेंट्स और फंक्शंस ऑफ वाई एलॉन तो This is a linear differential equation, and integrating factor for such linear differential equation is given by e raised to integral p dy. So e raised to integral minus dy, or e raised to minus y. This is our integrating factor, and solution for such linear differential equation is given by. x into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus sorry dy plus c so x into e raised to minus y is equal to integral uh, q q is 3y plus 2 um integrating factor is e raised to minus y into 3y plus 2 dy plus c so we get x into e raised to minus y is equal to integral this we need uh, we need to do it by integration by parts so this is our first function and this is our second function so first function 3y plus 2 into integral of Second function, which is e raised to minus y. Sorry, minus y minus integral differential of first function is three into integral of second function, which is minus so three e raised to minus y dy plus c. Or we have x into e raised to minus y is equal to three y plus two. So minus three y plus two into e raised to minus y plus three into e raised to minus y by minus one plus c. This is our answer. So if you multiply throughout by e raised to y and do some rearrangements, we have x plus Uh, so three y plus two. Let's bring into LHS. So x plus three y uh, plus so two minus three. Uh, uh, so the there is a minus sign. So three plus two plus five is equal to c e raised to uh, so y. This is our final answer. We just brought uh, multiplied throughout by so multiply by e raised to y and rearrange. To rearrange, we get this. C is an arbitrary constant. These are the steps. Solution to question number two sixty six.